How you doing, guys? Hi. Today is Saturday, April 11th, all day. All night. And uh, I'm off my A game, so don't judge me, please. But if you follow me on Instagram, you know why. So I got to get that all said and cleared up. Yeah. But just wanted to put out a video for you guys. So we're going to dive right in, and I'll show you the stuff that I got this week from Vinegar Syndrome and Severed Films. So... The box. Yeah, please. we'll go right into Vinegar Syndrome first. Spoiler, I watched one of those. Yeah, um, I think it was two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, pretty much when all the states started locking down, pretty much everybody started having a sale. And Vinegar Syndrome and Severin are two of the companies that had sales. Vinegar Syndrome, I think it was the second company that had a sale. And... They decided to do 30% off on all their titles. So there was two titles that I really wanted. So I scooped those up. So One just, of them I kind of wanted. I was interested in. Yeah. So they always package them really nice in this box. Has their... You're going to throw yeah. it. So just throw it. A nice sticker on it, and then they put it inside a nice envelope inside that's all bubbled so they don't get damaged. Mm -hmm. That was nice. So, phew, papers. Happy for that one. So, the first one I don't sound happy. is Grandmother's House. I've always wanted to check this film out. That's uh, not the title that yeah. I was looking into. And I've always thought this looked intriguing. The slip is. Far gone on this one a long time ago. I think the last year. It's pretty so much. gone I don't even see it. Yeah. So, you know, regardless if I had a slip or not, I was going to pick it up. But I've always was intrigued about this one. It's a nice mm -hmm. vinegar syndrome release. Region free. They always have a good amount of special features on it. So, I wanted to check this one out. You but. forgot one more feature. I'm so enthused about it. It's burning. Well, it came from Vinegar Syndrome. Of course, it's brand new factory sealed. But, Grandmother's House. Nice, good film right there. And then this next one. Oh, I'm super excited for this one. Yeah, uh, originally, if anybody watches Cinema Sickness, when Ham when they did their live stream with down the last one that Down to Movie was on, he went on Hamilton Book, and he went mm -hmm. nuts ordering titles. This title actually was on Hamilton Book. And I texted Rick during the live stream and said, Hey, did you put your order in? Because there's only one title I want. Can you, since he had a box coming to me that I filmed a couple of weeks ago. I'm like, can you grab this title for me? He goes, I already put my order in. I Oops. said, no worries. I'll just pick it up from Vinegar Syndrome. He got two. And <laughs> when they had their sale for 30% off, it worked out even better. So I picked it up. And because Marie wanted this title. I was and, curious about yeah. it. And so do I. And that was Flush Eating Mothers. That's a with nice, a nice title. Slip cover, as you can see. Vinegar syndrome when it comes to slip covers. It's reversed, but you get the little hand in the baseball yeah. from the kid. When it comes to vinegar syndrome titles, they are the top of the food chain when it comes to slip covers. Their slip covers are Mint. Yeah, are really uh thick. And, matte, and, and the it's matte got a finish. Little, um, gloss. Yeah, it has some gloss in it. It's hard to see. The blood and the letters. The bl yeah, the blood pouring down their mouth and on their chest. And the sides too. Is embossed, uh, not embossed. It's gloss and the name. And then the same thing. The spine. Yeah, the spine is the same way. Uh, it's black matte with uh, a gloss name on it now spoiler it's a little bit cheese so it doesn't actually show like the mothers eating children like ferociously crazy which is a good thing for you know us moms out there i'm a mother to yeah. a little one so i would have gotten mad if i saw like a toddler being chowed down or gobbled or whatnot but it's good cheese i yeah. tend to like vinegar syndrome more than but arrow but this is a, I a like it a great title i remember good I've never seen it, but I remember a long time ago. This one, as Marie said, is already open. That's why I'm going to show it. But this one has the Blu-ray, the Blu-ray DVD combo with nice artwork that they have on the Blu-ray. 
Let me see if I could spin it. Oh. I'm just going to slide out the artwork. Oh, you want to see the disc yeah. art? Yeah. When you look at the, the disc, disc art, art, the disc, yeah. the Blu-ray has the new commissioned artwork, and the DVD has the original artwork. That's cool. And now, because I have the slip for this one, and then I'll let Marie yank it out. It has... There you go. This is the original artwork. This is the artwork that I remember. I remember seeing the VHS mm -hmm. at a place in Worcester, Mass., that I used to write videos, well, VCR, t uh, VHS tapes, VCR tapes. That looks extremely plain, by the way. Yeah. Like but uh, <laughs> I really always wanted to watch this, but I never did. It's and fun so far, yeah. Finally get to check it out. So I was really happy to get this one for the collection. Like I said. it on the reverse artwork? Yeah. Okay. So I was really happy with that. I like this artwork. Yeah. So and it has the little boy on the back. Yeah. When I have the slip, I like to put the new commissioned artwork. Since the slip is like that, I want the original artwork. So yeah. it's just different artwork. There's only a slight difference between yeah. them. So the different artworks is nice. Yeah. But uh, flesh eating mothers. They like bit I said, off more than they could chew. I was really happy with that. On top of buying these two, spoiler. For a video next month, mm -hmm. I pre-ordered uh, the 4K of Rad also. I've wa I've had a bootleg copy in my collection since 2002. And I haven't seen it. And, I, and it's the one of like nine digital uh, copies that I have on my TV. I haven't of, known you since 2002 though. Yeah, of <laughs> that movie. And I love that movie. When I first found out... That it went uh, public domain. I pretty much started emailing um, Mill Creek. No. no, Mill Creek every quarter. Hey, it's public domain. Can you release it? Can you release it? And I never got responses back, but I always keep on trying. And now Vinegar Syndrome is releasing it. So I am even more ecstatic because they will do a lot better job with that movie than anybody else to get a, a nice 4k with one of their killer slips yeah this is fantastic in fact it's mega fantastic yeah exactly fantastic. but um this is um like cheesy and it's actually uh about a virus and the mothers kind of go nuts so yeah. a bit of a spoiler so the virus makes these mothers go nuts kind of maybe like mom and dad yeah it, it's or, kind of appropriate for this time huh but super um, happy to get those. And like I said, I pre-ordered Rad as well. That's going to be coming. And then the next box is Severin Films. Severin Films, pretty much the next day that Vinegar Syndrome did their sale, they followed suit and dropped the sale right after. And I picked up just a, a few titles. There's more than two in that box. Come on, yeah. who are you kidding? But the first <laughs> thing that they sent... You that, box bumped. That they always send that's pretty cool is stickers. stickers. I like stickers. These and are this is the Inner Vision sticker right there in green. I have a white one. Now I have a green one. And then the Severance sticker in green as well. And I had, like I said, I already have a white one of this. So now that I have a green one is nice, bright goblin green. Oh, yeah. Super awesome. So I'm happy with that. Mm -hmm. Then the titles I picked up. As you can see, I picked up one, four, nine titles. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to dig into them one by one. First one I got <clears throat> is, uh, and now the screaming starts. I've always uh, wanted to check this film out. On last year's sale, I almost picked it up. But I didn't, so I finally... Got to uh, pick it up on this sale. All in their lovely black cases. Oh, yeah. Seven with their black cases is awesome. <laughs> but uh, this has Peter Cushing in it. And nobody else Some that I recognize. People. But Peter Cushing. But it's a nice Severin release. It has uh, some good special features on it. Audio commentary. Archive audio. 
Theatrical trailer, man. Yeah, the theatrical trailer. There's another one. <laughs> so, PAX Effective Shocks. A traditional supernatural ghost story embellished with a dose of 70s style sleaze and gore. Mm. So, here's the back of that one. Oh, boy. Oh, oh yeah. I'm happy for that one. I like it when you say that. And what I, I like about Severn as well... Because they do black cases, on their website, you can actually buy replacement black cases if they ever get damaged. That's nice. That's one thing I like about them. Next one, this movie, when I bought when I bought it, I told Rick that I bought this movie. He goes, oh, I forgot all about that movie. That day, he uh, watched it, uh, a digital download of it. And I'm like, oh, how was it? He goes, dude, it was weird. That's all I got to say. It was good, but it was weird. But it is The Peanut Butter Solution. This, I actually read the book a long, long time ago when I was a young lad. So I'm happy to have it now. I've always wanted to check this one out. You want to say what's it say on the back? You want to read it? Nickelodeon by way of David Lynch. Yeah. Oh, okay. The kid flick that scared a generation, now on Blu-ray for the first time ever in America. Special features. Extended U.S. theatrical release version. New commentary. Human beings. Are the blah, 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 blah. More stuff. Tick trailer. Canadian trailer. And the U.S. original trailer. Oh, yeah. Sorry so, about that. It's a nice release. Like I said, I've always been happy with this one. It's color from 1985. So, happy, the scariest movie of all time. Mm. A movie so terrifying and bizarre, I was convinced that my memories of watching it as a child were false. 1985, I was just yeah. getting out of the crib. So, happy to have that one. There's, again, the front. And there's the back, if you want to check it out. But, really happy for that one. Next one. This one, we have the first movie that's, I can never really pronounce it correctly, and it's Anthropopahogamus. Anthropopahogamus? Yeah. That's that right movie. Next to there with Buried Alive. Yeah, that movie is really Twisted, good. Twisted? Yeah. Odd? I, different? I enjoy that movie, <laughs> and I bought it last year during the seven sale, and this year mm -hmm. I bought pretty much a sequel to it, and it is... Absurd. Absurd. It, yeah. Yeah. So, I'm really happy to have this. And this one is the limited edition of... This one is limited to 3,000. It has the bonus soundtrack CD plus reversible artwork. And this is another Joe D'Amato film. Just like Asa Papa Hagamas. And he was the one who did Marie's favorite movie, Buried Alive. So, happy to have movie. it. Cool. Anyway. But, you want to read the back on that one? Mm, yeah. Marie has better eyes now than me. Now authorized and uncut for the first time ever in America. Special features. Ooh, alternate. 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 Alternate Italian cut. English subtitles. I'm yeah. not really in the reading mood. Sorry. So, really top-notch gore. One gory mother. So, mm. happy to have that one. In the collection. There's the front one more time. You say I'm a good reader when my eyes are staying all day. Thanks. Sorry. This one is a movie that I've wanted for a long time. When it came out, I was really excited and I wanted to get it. But I, again, this when it comes... to another limited edition. Yeah, when it comes to Severin and Vinegar and all that, their prices are... On the higher tiers because they're boutique titles and a lot of them are limited numbers. Mm -hmm. But I still always wait for a sale because, again, I'm not a slip Nazi or anything like that. But even though these companies have six slips, sometimes I'm still on the fence. I uh, can appreciate a good slip. Yeah, buying them at full price. But this one is Pangini Horror. I've wanted to watch this one for a long time. This one again is uh, limited to three thousand, with a 
bonus soundtrack CD com uh, composed by Vincent Tempera. This is a film by uh, Luci Gazzari, but it's yeah. another Italian film. I was going to say, it's some Italian gentleman. Yeah. Pure entertainment. A whole hell of a lot of fun. Has um, spe uh, special features. Play it. Again, Pangini, an interview with the director. Mm. Uh, the Devil's Music interview with actor Pedro. And it's Italian, so I'm going to chop it to hell. Gandergari. Mm. Deleted scenes and an alternate ending and a trailer. I like alternate endings. Yeah. I don't know why alternate sounded funny to me. I'm like, sounds weird. The inclusive 80s Italian shocker. Now on Blu-ray for the first time in America. Yeah. Happy to have that one. Let me phrase that. I am super excited for this one, actually. Yeah, this one's from 1988. There's the back right there. I think it's funny when you say it, you're happy for it. It's better if you say, I'm happy to have that one. That too. I'm happy for this one. Yeah. What's it doing? Why are you so happy for it? That's why I laugh. Well, speaking of happy, I'm super excited for this one. Oh, boy. Because I love Giallo films. Mm. And this is All the Colors Giallo. I wanted to pick this one up. Mm. On the last sale, I think it was just coming out. And this one was a pre-order, so it wasn't part of the sale. So I skipped it last year. But this year, I picked it up. So I'm really happy for this one. This one is a three-disc uh, collector featuring five and a half hours of classic trailers, bonus CD of legendary Giallo films. I'm sorry. So... I'm really happy to have this one. Like I said, to watch just trailers of films of pretty much a bunch of Giallos. And because I'm a big fan of Giallo films, I don't know like every movie that's out there. But I like watching these trailer ones to pretty much see the movies. And if there's anything I really like, I like to jot them down, make notes, and try to find them. Mm -hmm. So I'm really happy to have this one. So it's pretty much... Five and a half hours of Italian horror trailers. How can you pass that up? So, really happy for that one. Mm. Next one. More horror. Yeah. Well, it's seven. Of course it's horror. <laughs> but uh, this one is another limited edition to 3000. And uh, this so it was a soundtrack CD con composed by Christian Bonuro. And it is The Revenge of the Living Dead Girls. Mm. But really happy to have this one in the collection. I This one, it was just pretty much the title intrigued me in the cover. I didn't know nothing about it. Never heard of it. An Explosive Flesh Feast and Damn Proud of It. Mm. This is uncut and remastered in HD for the first time ever in America. So another probably Italian film it's 19 it's from 1986 mm. Mm. a couple of interviews another interview yeah interview special effects and a th theatrical trailer wow yeah but they do uh, a lot of nice uh, special features yeah mm. seven does good special features a lot of stuff that I actually enjoy watching Speaking of absurd, that Anthropopahogamus, we actually watched all the special features on it. it was They were pretty good. Mm. They were all speaking in Italian, so it was all English dubbed. But still, I didn't mind it. Anthropopahogamus. Oh, yeah. I enjoy that movie. They're going to want to look up that movie. Excuse me a moment. It's way over there. Let me see if I can find it. And we'll keep on chugging. Anthropopahogamus. Uh, the next one... This one had a really nice slip cover. And it's a nice lenticular slip. So I picked it up because they still had the slip cover. That didn't take too long. And it is threads. Uh, with a nice uh, Yeah, perfect. With a nice slip cover. Let me see if I can make this thing dance. Probably Sorry not. about that. But it has a really nice slip. I'll show that right after. But uh, the closest you ever want to come to a nuclear war is Threads. A movie that shook the world, restored in HD for the first time ever. I didn't want to look at the artwork, so I flipped it over and 
<laughs> unsettling and powerful. That's this, unsettling. This one, uh, the special features on this is audio commentary from the director, uh, audition of the apocalypse, an interview with actress Karen Meeker, uh, shooting the annihilation, uh, more interviews with production designer, interview with the writer, and a trailer. That's cool. But that's the front one more time. The nice slip. That is a nice slip. And there's the back right there. If anybody's interested, you can pause it, check it out. I'll even get a little closer. That is a nice slip. Oh, yeah. It's factory sealed, so you can't really yeah. see uh, all the goodness of it. But it's they, really Yeah, cool. what I like about them is with their slips, they pretty much shrink wrap the whole thing right to it, nice and tight. It's a clip of a town looking good, and then you see it all in shambles. Yeah. so If you can see it without the glare. Yeah. It's hard to do it, but still happy for that one. Here's the title that I get up, sorry. Yeah. Absurd, this is the original for Absurd. And if you were wondering about the title yeah. that we butchered that we can't say correctly. Anthropopahogamous. <laughs> but, uh, there's yeah. Some, uh, there's a couple of scenes in that movie yeah. that are different. Yeah, this is a, a really good movie. So, like I said, uh, if you ever buy Absurd, this is the movie that pretty much prequeled it. I wanted to see the discard. Thank you. Oh, yeah, it's the same. Yeah, it's the same as the cover. There you go. Right there. Right where? Right there. There you go. But, yeah. Two more. Next one. Oh, I love Creature Features. And I had to pick this one up. And it came with a nice slip cover. It and it is... Killer Crocodile. Oh, wait. It's There's more. more. I stole your life. Killer Crocodile 2. It's a double slip. Yeah. It's a double feature, double slip. So, on the front... It has Killer Crocodile, and on the back of the slip, it's Killer Crocodile too. I like that artwork better. But uh, yeah, me too. But uh, that one's pretty cool. Yeah, but it's again, this it's a limited edition bonus Blu-ray disc that has uh, Killer Crocodile two, and then it has a documentary, uh, special remaster of. Gandino know, the, de Rossi. I don't know, but that crocodile has got to be pretty big for that person to be sitting in his mouth like a little toy soldier. Yeah, so I love Creature Features. I saw this and I was like, it's a no-brainer. I'm picking mm -hmm. this thing up. But super happy for it. Really can't tell you much about it unless I crack it all open, but I'm not going to do that yet. But That's a nice, uh, nice slip. Yeah, this is a really nice slip. Happy to have that one in the collection. And the last one that I got, yes. this one. Yeah, this one. Yeah, another one with a nice slip. This one is a uh, limited edition to 5,000 only with set of six lobby cards. Ooh. And this is Gwendolyn. So I had to pick it up. When, when I look at the cover, I don't know if it's her, but... The, the girl on the cover looks like Tawny Katane from the old White Snake videos. They used to date David Coverdale. Mm. But that's the back right there. There you go. But I was really intrigued on this film. I wanted to check it out. So they still had them with the nice slip. So I grabbed that with the lobby cards. As you can hear them inside. But happy to have that one and check it out. And that is everything. That I got from Vinegar Syndrome and from Severed. Like I said, they both had good sales. Um, Vinegar Syndrome was 30% off. And I think Severin was 30% off as well. So I had to pick up two titles from Vinegar Syndrome. And then I pre-ordered one that's coming out, I think, at the end of April. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the nine Severin titles. So happy to have that one. But that is... That's a lot of different stuff right there. Yeah, a lot of different stuff, a lot of boutique stuff, a lot of stuff that probably a lot of, you know, mainstream people mm -hmm. really haven't heard. But, you know, I like to show them maybe there's something in there that you would like. And the next time they have a sale or if it's something that really intrigues you, you know, check them out. Maybe they're going to go look up Octopapahogamus. Or Octopapahogamus <laughs> from the last time. 
Thanks but, for the laugh. Yeah. But uh, if you like this video, hit the like, like button. Psh, if you didn't like it. I'm sorry. Yeah. We wanted to bring you a video anyway. Yeah. We wanted to bring you a video anyway. We, we was, enjoyed it. We wasn't going to uh, skip a week. So we wanted to make sure regardless. Whatever happens, you know, we still wanted to do it. Hope you have a... Wait, Easter's tomorrow. Hope you had a happy Easter. Yeah. Um, if you want to hit the subscribe button. Bing. Bing. Notification bell. Bing. Ding. If you want to leave any comments about any of these titles. If you have any questions about any of these titles that I can answer you, you know. Ask away in the bottom or, you know, if you're intrigued about anything, you know. Or if you, seven. They're all creepy. Yeah. If you picked up anything from uh, the either one of these sales, you know, let me know down below because I'm always... If you found yourself a limited edition copy of yeah. one of them, that'd be cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Them. But uh, we still have, like I said, I still have probably about 10 videos worth of stuff that I have, I have to film. <laughs> I have still stuff from... Better hoarding that than something else. Savers pre-quarantine that I mm -hmm. haven't filmed yet. I found... Something at Big Lots. Yeah. I was very Big excited Lots, for that one. Walmart, uh, Macari. I just got stuff today in the mail from Second Spin from when uh, they were closing their doors. Uh, Best Buys, uh, Disney, Steelbook Sale, Twilight Time, Target's Buy One, uh, Buy Two, Get One. A uh, huge box from MVD that I still got to do. Another huge box. From Hamilton Book. A couple of different places. And then I have another big box from uh, Warner Archive. So, yeah. I got Stay a tuned. bunch. Yeah. And right now, Warner Archives is having another four for 44. They extended right their sale. So, hopefully by the time this video drops, the sale is still going and you guys pick something up. But until next time, guys. Bye. Bye. That's it. There's no more.